In back of you, I, I have to call, I want to call on next, uh, the real star of the movie, of course, was Tommy Christopher. Uh, I do. The one, the one uh, I must say, disappointment I have, uh, in, or criticism I have of the movie is, I stopped, actually stopped and talked to Tommy Christopher at that dinner. Yeah. Outside yes, you're right, you were. I you were the only one who stopped to yeah. talk to him. It was not, well... Tommy, you have a question or a comment? Well, I have, you know, for the record, it, Bill wasn't the only one, but anybody who stopped to talk to me were my colleagues. Uh, and I think there was one, like, Canadian tourist who took a picture of me. Right. There, there's uh, there's which no was in, that, was in the movie. Who, yeah. yeah. Took an interest in you. Exactly. Right. Uh, but also, I, I would like to say, for the record, that, uh, that Jay Carney and uh, Josh Ernest are much better at getting to the, to the back of the room. But I agree with Steve that it, they still spend way too much time on the, on the rows. So it doesn't matter, like, if you get to the back, you're not going to get to as many guys. Yeah. But they do do better than, than, than Gibbs did. Amen. My question is a, is a filmmaking question, Patrick, if I, if I may. Um, in cutting this film down, what was the thing that, that was I – mean, I, know, I know how it is when you're creating something. You, know, you have to kill your babies. What was the thing you left out? What was the baby that was the hardest to kill that you didn't get into the movie that you really <laughs> wanted to? Toughest thing you had to cut, the toughest decision when you were cutting, which you obviously had to do to get the duck. Um, I mean, some of the stuff we're going to put out as like extra footage. <clears throat> There's a clip of one reporter talking about how she ate Zach Galifianakis' beef jerky. Left it <laughs> the day, but I'm going to make it. Um, uh, gosh, that's a good question. Um, uh, No, um, I mean, I guess, I don't know if this is a totally interesting question. I mean, the one thing that I had to sort of, um, there were kind of two things I had to make pretty big decisions on. One was like, how much do we get into why celebrities come, which is, we've turned into like an extra video. Um, and then how much do you get into the history of the association? And I basically put no one, I mean, we sort of allude to it, but I put not a lot of information on why celebrities come, just because I feel like, to a certain extent, I feel like it's pretty obvious. I mean, they come because they get to see the president, they come because it's very different than what they're used to, they come because um, some of them are genuinely interested in public policy. Um, uh, uh, they come because it gives them sort of a, it makes them feel as if, yeah, I, I'm on a reality show, but I really care about, you know, trade policy. <laughs> sort of gives them some street cred. Um, and I just didn't feel like I had anything, like I had no, nothing interesting to say about that that anybody else couldn't say. And then the history of the association, um, same thing. I mean, first of all, the association co-produced with the History Channel, a 15-minute film that very much goes into uh, their history, so I feel like I probably couldn't improve on that very much. Um, and again, I just feel like there's a better story to be told than doing 20 minutes on the history. So anyway, those are two things I just sort of said, you want to know what, I'm just going to kind of graze by and move on to better stuff. Uh, what you're really telling us is that the, all the good stuff is in the film, or that all the stuff in the film is the good stuff. Good, good. Hopefully, yeah. Right. Uh, 